and we're back and we're going to take on a, a serious topic here today, but a serious topic that we all need to talk about preventing needless deaths in our children. And we talked about it last week a little bit when it comes to co-sleeping and healthy sleeping habits. Now we're gonna talk about drowning. And Mar Maria Negron, Director of Programs from the Children's Board of Hillsborough County joins us. And I think drowning, it's so important here in Florida, especially Hillsborough County to have this discussion right now. I'm assuming the numbers that you're seeing, we, we're still leading the nation, aren't we? Yeah, there, there are too many. Essentially, in 2019, the Hillsborough County Medical Examiner identified nine deaths due to drowning, and that was just uh, locally in Hillsborough County. So if you look at uh, the Tampa Bay area, which includes Pinellas and, and Pasco, uh, it increases the annual rate, unfortunately. You know, and Maria, one is too many, like we've said before. But let's kind of dive in. Of course, we give the numbers, we give the stats, but let's talk about what to do because that is key. And I think the key is it is always preventable. What are some of those tips? What do you want to share with our viewers today about this? We can very much uh, save lives uh, with awareness and education. It just really takes information sharing. Um, I think the, the most significant um, prevention strategy that we can all practice is supervision. Children should be supervised at all times whenever there's a, a body of water or a pool uh, near where you are. So supervision is um, the most important. Uh, we wanna make sure that when you're supervising a child, you're free of all distractions. That means you're not texting, you're not watching television, you're not on the telephone. Etc. Uh, one of the the best strategies that we have for this is it's a a whistle watcher program. And so the idea is that if you're ever in a, a situation where children are in the pool uh, and there's multiple adults, you should really identify the person who is keeping an eye on all the children. And that's where that whistle watcher comes in. Whoever has that whistle watcher is responsible um, for looking out for children. And if a child goes missing, you definitely want to blow that whistle, call attention to everybody, um, because the other thing that can save lives is how quickly you can find a child who may be having a problem in uh, a body of water, or inside a pool, or in a lake, wherever the case may be. So it's really very important. So supervision is key. Um, the other, um, the next step I, I would stress is if a child does go missing, uh, you should first look in the pool if there's a pool in the area. Um, that's typically um, where most children gravitate to instead of uh, a nearby body of water. Uh, so it's it's just so very critical uh, that we're aware of our surroundings. And I know that a lot of families oftentimes go on vacation or visit family members that might have pools. And so you can't control those environments, um, but you can certainly talk to those homeowners or assess your environment and really understand how to be safe and make sure that you put some practices in place while you're actually there. So um, that's really very critical. In your own home, uh, you can install barriers um, to prevent children from having access when you're not watching them in the water. Um, so those barriers can include door locks, uh, pool fences, alarms, and we recommend that you have at least two because one of those prevention strategies can fail, right? So it's really nice to have a, a few steps before children can access um, water um, around them. So those are the general recommendations. Maria, this is always a question too. It seems like a no brainer, but swimming lessons, how important Absolutely. are swimming lessons for kids and, and what age do you want to start and close? We've got probably under 30 seconds here. Very early start swim lessons under the age of four. It'll cut the risk by 88%. So definitely go to your local aquatics program. The YMCA has several mm -hmm. programs. It's very much encouraged. Maria, I'm really glad that you shared some time with us today to talk about these needless deaths and, of course, the key how to prevent them. There's the website if you'd like more information. And Maria, stay in touch, okay? We'd like to share this information. We appreciate you. Thank you so much.